guess what? The days finally came. I finally got the skyline running. I know it's been a long time going, but we finally got this thing started. Um, basically, we were doing some cam sync with AEM Infinity. Finally got it to fire. Uh, Thing sounds wicked right now. Unfortunately, um, I'd come to find out that Cylinder One uh, spark plug was actually fouled, so that's why I was camming so aggressively. I do have to my 270 cams, 8.8 millimeters of lift on both the inlet and the exhaust, so it does have a nice slope. However, it's not that aggressive, and as of right now, I have the idle set around a thousand RPM, so I'm not going to get that big block V8 sound of a lope but you do get a nice sound coming out of it and it definitely helps in the top end helps it a little bit helps it breathe a little bit but man it's been a long time coming uh, a lot of guys were asking we're actually tuned on AM Affinity um, so we're going to be getting some dyno footage here in a little bit and uh, we'll see what this thing can do if I had to guess it'll be somewhere around 350 with this turbo right now um, unfortunately that's the limiting factor is old school turbo genetics 60-1 uh, but I'll be looking forward to doing more than likely uh, gear G25 um, probably the 550 um, I think that's kind of what I'm leaning towards uh, it's definitely gonna spool a lot quicker and just be overall a better more reliable uh, while producing more power so basically setting the mechanical timing here I'm um, trying to get it dialed in I was messing around with it a little bit and it started uh, to overheat but that's simply because the timing was so aggressive that um, I was getting too much heat it was getting heat soaked so I really can't believe it's um, come to find out I ended up having to uh, adjust the throttle linkages as they were bleeding a little bit of air in allowing the thing to idle up and I was trying to pull time in order to hit its targeted idle speed so it was starting to get quite hot at that time so just doing a little bit of more mapping, trying to get this thing to at least be drivable so I can load it on the trailer uh, to take it over to the dyno. AM Infinity, I, I definitely like it. This is my first time messing with it. A nice 332 wheel horsepower pull. It's not necessarily the 350 I was thinking it would be, but pretty close. So, Alright guys, so this is going to wrap up today's uh, dyno session. Unfortunately, we're stuck where we are. 
uh, the limiting factory is that TurboNetX 60-1. So here, shortly in the future, I'm going to be upgrading to the Gear uh, G25 Turbo and uh, hopefully come back and see what we can do. All right, guys. So I know this is a random clip, but I just want to show off a uh, new lens I got and just see what everybody's perspective is on this. This is a Sony 24 millimeter uh, 1.4. So basically it's gonna open up my ability to actually be able to film at night, which is gonna be great. Given the old lens that I had on my camera, it was nearly impossible to do any filming at night. And I know this is completely random and doesn't really tie into the dyno video, but I just kind of want to do a little sh showcase clip at the end of this, just to kind of like, uh, you know, show what everybody's what's to come. Um, I appreciate everybody that subscribed up to this point. We just hit 498, so we really need just two more. We'll hit our uh, 500 subscriber halfway point, which is great. So our goal is a thousand subscribers, and um, man, it's been a grind. But uh, I definitely appreciate everybody that's touched in and uh, subscribed so far. Um, I don't really know the direction this channel is going to go. It's kind of like just basically my daily life and you know the ins and outs of it um so we're gonna maybe add in some more of these like kind of vlog style videos forthcoming so um if you enjoy that and kind of this style of filming right here um just go ahead and smash that subscribe button and uh drop me a comment below but uh check out this in-car clip this is in my buddy's chaser um it's fixing to come up and you see it on screen yeah man this is filming at night with no supplemental lighting or anything. This is just showcasing how good this lens is. And that's right. Now.